I saw her. I heard her. You should have had. We should bring up the I thing. I heard the recording. Yeah. I don't know where I was listening to it. Yeah, from. put her name. I want you to pull her thing up. I want to hear it. And I didn't. Kinsley. Uh uh-uh, uh. Don't move that. Oh, I have to type something. Kinsley sideways. Murray. That's it. All right, Lamar. I R-R- can't type. I can't type sideways. R R. My hand wasn't even on the right key. Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. Oh, this it's girl. hard to type sideways. Really, right. Kim? You can. No. All you right. Can. And your hands got to be on the keys. Oh, Mine's okay. not on the right key. I want to see if I can see the video. At this. this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats for the singing of the Canadian National Anthem being performed by eight-year-old Kinsley Murray. All right, now, okay, I'm going to come at this a different way than you think I am. Well, my first question is, when you hear kids performing at a special event, my first question is, is she ill? Like, you don't want to laugh at somebody who is beating cancer or she's had a, a, a leg amputated. There's something not right. So you, that because she's a kid too, so you like, you have to do this. First of all, so what way you if there's in? anything that is different or special or whatever, they are supposed to say that. They're supposed to say, hey, everybody, Give little heads up. little Kinsley Murray, 18-year-old brave girl battling cancer. Yes. She's here to sing the old national anthem or yes. something like that. Yeah, Because yeah. then everybody will be like, okay. You will battling. hold your smirks, your She's laughs, your... A little girl has gone viral for her performance of the U.S. National Anthem at the NBA game. Kinsley Murray 8 kicked off the Indiana Pacers versus the Toronto Raptors game at GameBridge Fieldhouse on Monday the 26th, February, with a powerful, and see, that's the other thing. We're going to talk about this. A powerful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner and the Canada's National Anthem, Old Canada. She sung two two songs. Mm -hmm. Murray was decked out in a glittering red, white, and she blue gown She's cute. printed with an American flag as she belted out the national anthem. She accessorized her ensemble with silver star clips in her hair, white gloves, and a pearl necklace. The eight-year-old put on a show-stopping performance, throwing her hands in the air with every high note. A clip of Murray singing was posted to the Pacers' official TikTok account, where it since has been viewed more than five million times the passion who is she the outfit this anthem performance was unmatched they captioned the video who is she though we don't know so the question is she has to be somebody's daughter or granddaughter or something but my thing is i don't even care about how she sung it where are the people who have forced this generation to think that they can just do anything, anywhere, at any time. Back in our day, and I know I sound like an older person, back in my day, in my old days, if you wanted to run in the in the uh, the five hundred yard run, mm-hmm. you had to be able to run. Now they got runners my size trying to run in the five hundred. Oh, they have praise dancers your size. They got these kids. I seen little fat kids running. On the track team. Everybody gets a medal. Everybody gets a medal. Everybody can do whatever they want to do. And nobody in the adult thing says, hey, why don't we get a little bit more practice? Why don't we work on this? Why don't we make you more professional at this? What's going on with this generation? That they can just do anything. Well, I fought the person that let her out there. That's what I'm saying. Who is she? Is she somebody? If she is somebody that has a health issue, she she's the face of an organization that helps kids. Maybe there's some mental concerns there. We would give we would give grace to her 
if we knew it, what she was about. And the you only knew was they okay with the, the bad notes and, and the only oh, reason the why the words. The only reason why I'm not doing going at her is because she's a kid. She doesn't know any better. If they tell her to go out there, she's going to go but out there and do it. So who are these adults? Go out. That's what I'm saying. Why do people, that's what I want to talk about. Why do people post their kids, their families, oh, doing things. all kind of stuff on TikTok and Instagram and, and Facebook, and then you and get mad when people comment underneath it? That's an ugly kid, or that's this, or <laughs> why are you fat, or this, that. I, as an adult, we can take it. And if you want to put your kid out there, understand that they got to be, they're going to get hit with all of that. Yeah. So my thing is, why do people do that? They, I know they're probably doing it because they want everybody to see they're proud of them. And they're hoping for good comments versus the bad. But there's kids who can actually really sing. Yeah. Why are they not out there? And she got how many views? Five million so well, far. She, think about the song she's singing in both. Oh, of that's what I'm saying. It's a she's, good at an event. And I do agree that she did sing it with some up to her. I got it. She tried. And she had the dress on. She looked cute <laughs> with another dress. That's what I'm talking about. But Fergie, they compared her to when Fergie got out there and sung. Fergie from um, the, I didn't see Fergie. The Black Eyed Peas. I didn't see. She her. was horrible, and she well, was she doing, wasn't no worse than Roseanne Dam. Roseanne, Roseanne Barr was horrible too. Ooh. Miss Mega Ooh. screaming out the national anthem. Oh. But yet you're gonna come with your big stupid cowboy hat oh. at a mega convention. Thank you, and America. And they supposed proud. to be American proud, y'all. And that big dummy up there yelling out the American national that, anthem. And they're mad at a Ka Kaepernick for kneeling. For kneeling when fat son Roseanne Barr got up there and yelled the national anthem. Screamed it. But yet. And was being funny. Oh, and God. never apologized. Never. Especially being on the good old, that, that make America great side. So so okay. that's all I'm saying. I just want to know who she is. She's got to Everybody's somebody. trying to figure out why her and who she is. Who are you? And why would you do that as an adult? Why would you put her out there like that? I feel bad. I feel bad for every note. And I, I couldn't... I, and when I first heard her on my video I was watching, I, I, I what took me was, okay, I'm not going to laugh because maybe she's sick. I thought that right away. They should say something. I honestly thought that's the only reason why she would be on the floor at a, singing a national anthem for both countries is she's sick. Is she is dying? Is homeless? Is her family going is through she something? Dying? She got six months yeah, to live. Yeah, and they want to get her out there. Other than that. But don't just put people out there like that. I don't know. push kids out like that. And we got to stop giving every kid a medal. I'm sorry. Yeah. Every kid cannot do everything. That's why this society is so weak. I know. Because every kid is, they're not seeing uh, how it pays off to be competitive. To work hard. To work hard for something. To train. And when to you, get good at something. Yes. And when you, when you win, then you know it was worth it. Yes. It was worth the hard work and the practices and the training. That's what I wanted to talk about more uh, with this. You just it's wake like, up and go, I'm going to sing. The kids, I get it. They're going to cry or whatever if they don't get a medal or whatever. It's the adults. It's the it's this generation. And it's our fault because it's our kids that's raising these but little you ones. you know what? Which means we did a bad job with raising the kids that's raising it's them. It's funny that you're saying this because I, I watch old school shows. There was an uh, episode with Andy Griffith and Opie. Opie wanted to run with the boys and they're going to get a medal if they run. And Opie trained. He trained with um, Barney. Barney trained with him. He was ready. He was, they were showing in Opie's vision him, himself winning his medal and this crowd is cheering. You know how people dream that. Yeah. He was dreaming that. Well, he got ready to go play, to go run the race. He was the last one. See? And he was angry. He was bitter. And his dad had to rebuke him. He said, son, I'm very disappointed in you. You're having a tantrum Thank and you. mad because you didn't win. Son, you don't always, you don't always win. win. He had to give him that lesson. And this is an old Andy Griffith show. So you always got to do that with kids. But we're at a point now where... 
Every kid's a winner. Get your medal. Get your medal. The person who really won and worked hard don't feel like really. Right. It's not even worth it because everybody's getting the same medal I'm getting. And I worked hard for this. There's no payoff anymore. Oh, I tell you. So I don't okay. know. And it's our fault because we raised a generation that had these kids. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just needed a background story for her. I didn't know. We Nobody knows. <laughs> That's why we're talking and about it. And she got a lot of views. Yes. Wow. But even how this article wrote, powerful rendition, wonderful, great. Like, who wrote this Are article? they hearing the same thing we hear? Why don't you just say that you liked her gal? They didn't want to be critical. Le- but don't say anything then. Just say the Just say stuff. you liked her gal. She was dressed cute. Yeah. The little one arm, one arm thing with the little stuff in her hair. Her dress went out. She was cute. She was pretty the way her dress was. Thank you. There were a few Remember notes. back in the day when you saw an ugly baby and somebody showed it <laughs> and you would just say, Aw, oh, look at, look at him. Man. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Adorable. Oh, look at him. He's a little man. He's a little man. Yes, he is, little man. Look at him laugh. Look at him laughing, old little man. He's a happy baby. Look at his little shirt and his little shoes. He's a happy baby. That's a happy oh, baby. Look. Okay. And he walk away. Ooh, that baby ugly. But I would be like, oh, that's a pretty baby. Oh, he's gorgeous. I know. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Build up on the line. Why lie? Then he grows up thinking he's good looking. Whoa. Now remember. <laughs> That's wrong, kid. Because you want to instill in kids that they are. No. You, you are sure of yourself. And Absolutely I not. know I'm ugly, but I feel good about myself. I used to say, and I say it to this day, and I'll continue to say it. Because uh-huh. I'm a comedian. People say, whenever you have kids, this was a long time ago, yeah. you're going to have an ugly son. You're going to have an ugly baby. Yeah. And what would I say? He going to be a, a good dresser. He's going to be, be the sharp. sharpest ugly baby out there. He'll be he sharp. have his little bow ties and his soupy shine, and he be dressing like Jay Z. Ah. That baby will dress better than and anybody. And he will be sure of himself, even with his ugly face. He'll be either funny or talented <laughs> or something or smart. <laughs> but he'll oh never God. say he's gorgeous. Yeah, he'll understand. He'll know he doesn't fit in the I'm Idris not album. Idris, or but I'm smart, Denzel, and I have a great personality. <laughs> and women still like me yeah. because I'm funny. Yeah, I'm smart. I'm athletic. Uh-huh. They still want me. And I got money. I'm making some money. I, but he's never. Eddie Murphy said, yeah. "I'm still ugly." Eddie Murphy, and he he knows that. he's he ugly. Knew that yes. And he knew, like it was a guy in our high school too that wasn't nice looking, but he was funny and down. Thank you. Earth. And the girls still they liked love them. being with him. He just made you feel comfortable, and you laugh and have a good time. Back in he the day, no, no, no uh, can't eye candy. Back in the day, people knew they were ugly. You think? <laughs> You were saying the dark if skin you was man ugly, and the light skin man. Well, they, some men was, was light skin and ugly. Yeah, it well, didn't because matter. they were light skin. Yeah, it didn't matter. They were considered nice. Well, looking. people would say they was good looking, and, and they had ugly. pimples on their face yeah. and acne, but they were light skin. But now they don't do that. Now it's right, right. But what I'm saying is, back in the day, mm-hmm. you knew you was ugly. <laughs> How do you see that's You this, knew you was fat. When you was in school, you knew you was fat. Wendy Williams on her documentary, she was fat. She had weight But problems. these kids today don't even know they fat. Well, when they try to do something that a fat kid can't do. No, they wear the same outfits and everything. Oh, well. It's like, you know, you know, you know you your fat. limitations. Like my, my co-worker's cat, her cat was real big. And her cat, for some reason, thought he was little. Thank he you. would try to squeeze between a sofa and a chair. And she would see doing? his big old butt. She said, he think he's skinny. Thank you. That's funny. But go ahead. Even animals got the same personality now. Yes. They don't know I'm what they're fat. Are. I'm not fat. No, you and are. They, and they sitting on their butt with their big stuff. <laughs> so I just, you know. Okay. I, we got to find out who she is. If y'all find out, what is her background? Is Emerald she- says, um, it's someone's kid, so I won't be mean. She should have been given something different to sing. This song is known to be difficult. To sing. Even for and, the professionals. And I always say that um, that baby is precious. Yeah. Look at him. He's so precious. Because when you even look at a, a, a chimpanzee or a monkey, the monkey babies, 
they're not all cute, but they're cute because they're little. Yeah. It's a little version of the mom. No, some people, some, babe, some, people, some animals are cute because they're little. Right, right, right. They're not cute looking, right. but they're little. But some babies not even cute. Yeah. Little. yeah. Okay. Okay. That's.